it took two years and and finally a ruse to get into the Blossomwood district. My father, um, after not succeeding in buying a home because no one would sell to a Negro, mm -hmm. um, he just wised up and said, why am I bothering with this? And basically, um, we he, we had started going to the Unitarian Church and he just got a white couple at the Unitarian Church to buy it and then sell it to him. Yeah. You know, so... He, <laughs> So that's how that went that's down. That's how that went down. So Do you remember I, that we, year? Exactly. Well, I, okay. So I uh, went to kindergarten for one year. We, we lived on Owens Drive mm -hmm. in uh, the Blossomwood District. But I remember going to a kindergarten. Um, and I, did, I entered first grade at Blossomwood. So... I would have been, well, usually when you're in kindergarten, you're five. Mm -hmm. So that would be like 67, so maybe 68. No. Well, I was I, oh. I was born in December of 1961. Oh, 61. Okay. Right. So 66. So that would have been 66. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I just want to be able to look that Yeah. Up. I think yeah. we moved, probably we moved into that house around like the summer of 66. And this house was up at the end by the woods. Is that yeah, right? Yeah. So it's a, it's, it's a, yeah. Um... It was at the end of near the end of a dead end street, Owens Drive. Mm -hmm. It dead ended into Montesano. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 I mean, the base of Montesano Mountain. Right. So, how long did you live on Blossom in Blossomwood? We lived in, we lived in that house about seven years. Oh, something like that. I I went well. Kindergarten through fifth grade for okay. me. For, okay. That's a you know that's how I marked that time. Right. Kindergarten course. through fifth grade, and then we moved back to the house on Lydia Drive when I was entering the sixth grade. I think I could recall that in your book you described that that was a comfortable move for you to move back to Lydia Drive. Is or would you speak about that? How it was in Blossomwood and how it was to return to Lydia Drive. How you felt about it. Well, in, initially, you initially, I was quite happy and had some quite happy years living in the Blossomwood district. But we were the only black family for miles. There yes, was no black people anywhere else but us, and yes. everybody knew who we were. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And in fact, when we first moved into the house on on, uh, on Owens Drive, within weeks of being there, somebody shot a bullet hole through the front window. Oh, um, yes. And there were all these people who were driving by. It was like a tourist destination to see the the house that Negroes had bought. <laughs> right, I, I can yeah, believe yeah. that. And now you're and you're also at this dead end, and so then they have to stop and, they turn, had to around. turn around. Right, 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 right. right, right, right. right, right. Well, was that oh, intimidating? But, I know that. It, well, for me, I was just a little girl, so I did. I didn't even quite know about the bullet hole. I mean, I, my parents told me about it later, mm -hmm. but. But we had, um, so almost immediately, the next door neighbor um, to the right of us sold his house. And a Jewish family moved in. Oh. And um, they, we were quite happy with them. They were happy with us. We were happy with them. But, and and um, most of the neighbors were quite friendly, mm -hmm. I remember. And, and, and there were lots of kids. And it was a happy place to be for a kid you know the end of yeah. the dead end street you're playing kickball in the street um, um it for the most part it was it was a very happy uh experience but um as i got older i recall you know in you know, fifth grade people are starting to have slumber parties mm -hmm. all of a sudden i wasn't getting invited to parties right. those kinds of things and i was Started starting to, to notice um, you know, some of these issues where, um, people weren't colorblind. <laughs> right. No. <laughs> and so I, I, I socially, I remember, um, when we moved back to Lydia drive and I went to Highlands mm -hmm. elementary, um, there were a lot more black kids. There were a few black kids at, at Blossom. When we first, m my brothers and me were the first black kids there. Mm -hmm. But then some black kids started coming. Each year there were more black kids coming. And a lot of them lived across California. Right. 
Uh, Where Huntsville Middle is now, yeah, that area. California Avenue or California Street? Street California Across Street. California Street, a lot, uh, a lot of them were from living in projects. Right. The poorer kids. Um, not all of them, though. There were a couple of middle-class kids, too. Um, but, but we were a distinct minority at Blossomwood. Yes. 